Okay. Hold. Can I drive the wagon, please? Since you're in Lemoy. Go ahead. Are you boys armed? No. Please get off the horse. Both of you. I just drive the wagon, sir. That's all I do. That's understandable. You? Your face don't look familiar like hell you already said two days. That's why I asked. I just arrived here at the States. I think I saw you that night near the dough boats, the docks. I don't see what you have, sir. No. I never forget a face. Well, I do got me one of those premier faces. People have messed up with me all the time. God damn. Pardon me. Um, looks like you need to see a doctor. I already have. Can't say who, but she patched me up, but it looks like I'm still bleeding. Okay. You boys stay right there for a moment. You're lucky I'm the one that caught you. I was waiting just in case. I hope you understand why, but Lemoyne Raiders are assholes sometimes. Not all of them are simple. Here. Yeah, with the cattleman. With no rounds in it. You're responsible for bullets. Hide it. Don't show it on your belt. Most of these Lemoyne Raiders, you know they're assholes. But not with all of us are like that. Boy, here. You're responsible for the bullets. Understand? Do you accept? I accept. Bullets aren't that much. Tell him Eric sent you. When you go to the gun shop owner, Eric. If you have to say Eric Lee, I'll get it. We do, sir. So your boss seen you out here with no security? Pretty much. Hmm. Oh, bullshit. You boys get back in your wagon. I'll follow you so Lemoy Raiders won't harass you. Would you be okay with that? Fine with me. Sir. You boys leave. I'll stay close because we have sharpshooters around here. Roadblocks that stop city folks. These days ain't short. I noticed you boys also did have a knife on you. No, sir. May I be a little nosy? Yeah. Go ahead. For a young man that grown up in Santa Anita, pretty much, you're aware of the danger. It's always best to defend yourself. I 
believe my uh, face do well enough. Gotta get a gun or a knife. You should be safe. Right when you get to closer to there, we'll go our own way. Make sure the other boys won't do anything stupid. How much has it been Saint Denis? It's been a while. Uh, a good one could sit you around, maybe. Twelve, thirteen dollars. That's a steal. But I mean, it's a freaking ripoff. We only make about four dollars a day, so that's strong arm robbery. The only thing we could get. Hmm. Oh, I could get. You have family? No, both my mother and father are dead. Sorry to hear about him. Did the war take him? Or before you came to America? No, uh, my father was a bad drunk, and my uh, mother died at the tower. Wait, what was that? My mother, she died at the tower, and my father was a bad drunk. Hmm. Apologies for your loss. That's it, don't worry about it. That's a long time ago. So, you pull up the wagon here. Can't go any further. I probably have a business opportunity for you, gents, if you wish to hear it. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's not block the road. So, to introduce myself, you already know my name is Eric. Second Lieutenant Eric Lee Warner. Nice to meet you. What's your name, son? Uh, Billy, sir. Billy. What about that young man right there? Enter. What kind of skills do you boys have? It's okay. The ladies, sir. You're hit with the ladies, though. No survival skills, nothing. Not really, sir. I was born and bred in that infernal jungle over there. Mm. You boys want to stay there for the rest of your life? The only thing I know. Not right now. What do you want to do in life? See the world, travel, make enough money, marry a good woman, have kids, drink good whiskey. If you boys are interested, I can get you some money. Would you like to know more? for four bucks a day. I'm interested. You'll be dealing business with me and only me. You know what the Lamar Raiders do. 
You know where do you move, China? So, would you mind delivering a couple crates of moonshine? Bottles, crates. People shouldn't harass you. You have people watching you, make sure you're safe. Nobody should give you much trouble. Oh, immediately. I asked about the pay. So I've ever grown up knowing, sir. So this is your first time offer. 35. After the job is done and a little bonus, maybe an extra 10. Uh, you said you made four dollars an hour. I mean, four half dollars a day, right? Your last job. Do the math. For big scores, you both can probably get a sum up over fifty dollars, maybe more. Only people that does delivery get paid a good bit more because they're risking it. If you wish to negotiate prices, we can work on that. Just nothing insulting. We all gotta make a living. Wild West is dangerous. And this is a time of... Yeah, you understand. But do you know the consequences of moonshining? More or less, yeah. Okay. Does this young man know the consequences of moonshining? No, sir. Kind of no. I would say you should sit down with them, talk to him about the laws, make sure he knows. But your boys, you not having guns on your hip, or people know when you don't have guns, you're easy targets. But to some people, they would go let not think twice. Gangsters. People like I am associated with and other bad people around the area will just take advantage if they need to, if they want to. Okay. For your revolver ammo, oh, okay. you got 20 rounds in there. Load your gun when you get a chance. Hopefully you don't have to. But some people it's easier. Don't do it unless if you need to. So. You do not mention any of this. If you wish to negotiate the prize, let me know. How would I contact you if I'm interested in the job? I'll find you. Okay. Or. I will be in Santa Me because I do got to talk to some people. I do got some more business in Santa Me. Meet me at the fancy um, bar. The fancy oh, bar. You know where it's at, right? Gonna, yeah, they're gonna let me in. Say Eric Lee. Let, say I am here to see Eric Lee. Okay, I can do that. If he makes you say the full name, Eric Lee Warner. Okay, I understand. Okay. You gentlemen, have an excellent day. Take care and stay safe. But real quick, now you both take care and stay safe. Seriously, do not come back in Lemoyne unless if you have to. It's a dangerous area. The rules don't follow out here like normally. You think out in the city's chaos? Works out here. Understood. Okay. You gentlemen, take care. Hide that knife. Hide the gun. Hello there. Well. Interaction.
Mm-hmm. Thoughts? Well, first of all, I'm giving you this. I cannot take this with me inside of that church. There's a lot of eyes and ears in that church. They're going to see me with this piece on. And I doubt the mother and the rest of the people will see eye to eye with me bringing a, you know, a weapon. Maybe the knife, I might get away with it, but not this here. I'm thinking, could you, like, hold it right onto it for me? Okay. We might take a, uh, we might go to the gun shop and to sell it off for some money. Because right now, in my current state, I cannot pretty much wait afford to maintain this. But if you want, by all means be my guest, because he has to give you some bullets. Are you a good shot? Um... In the meantime, can you hold on to this weapon for me? Mm -hmm. Thank you. The knife part would be more easier to explain to her and the rest of the people at the church that I would be staying with. I would just like tell it, tell it only sets a work to. Sometimes you need to cut rope and, you know, tie stuff up here and there. Mm 